What's up YouTube, there Airplane Guy here and today I'm just doing a quick video on the Airplane channel to show you guys how to install add-ons onto your um, Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Um, I know there's a lot of videos of this on YouTube already, it's just uh, I wanted to show you guys again. So uh, what you want to do is find a website um, suitable for an add-on aircraft that you want. Um, I use Invasion because that's my personal choice. There's things, like, there's things such as flightsim.com or avsim.com anything like that that you want to pick and then uh, just you do need a password for some of these sites but with Simvation you don't to download things and all you want to type in is uh, whatever you want to search there is a lot of aircraft on there so you can even get um, TV shows stuff like that things of those so um, do have a good look around for an add-on that you want and I found this one so uh, what you're going to want to do is just uh, go ahead and click on that and it should come up with this and then you just want to click download file and open you can click save but it's much easier to just click open because that just opens the zip file and does um, things quicker instead of extracting the files so if you click save then you would have to then uh, say right click and then click um, and you'd want to click uh, extract all and then extract them to a file which I will show you guys in a minute so this is going to take five minutes so I'll get back to you guys once it's done okay once your, once your add-on is finished you'll get all these files depends on what your add-on has it may just have one file or it may have several first what you want to do is um, if you haven't already and it is a zip file so if you have press save and, or if your computer just does not open the files you want to right click and click extract to one extract into an area in which uh, you want to save your files um, so you want to extract them to a temp file so as we've got here FSX temp files at the top here you want and then uh, you've got as you see I've, I've had a lot of um, add-ons so you want to have we want to extract them to an add-on um, I mean a uh, temp file and uh, I'm not going to do that today because it's just going to take too much time so I'm just going to go ahead and straight away get the readme up now this has several readme files the copyright one just tells you um, basically the how it's copyrighted and that obviously you don't want to read this one um, if you're interested about multiplayer and how it works on multiplayer then you should go check that one out if not uh, you just want to go into this install readme and load it up and then in this it should give you some directions and where it should be going so first I want to go and uh, move this file into FSX gauges so this file here uh, if I actually get that readme back up so I've forgotten by now so it says um, this one like it says here unzip this one so if you haven't already make sure you do unzip that file because that is important um, it will not work if you don't do that so you have to do that and then you want to go and do this one so I'll go ahead and minimize that so this one here I want to go ahead and click copy go to my C drive so that's computer C drive program file to program files 86 and then scroll down to Microsoft Games, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, and I believe this one was down to gauges. Uh, yep, gauges. So you want to go and put this in gauges. So just want to go ahead and uh, um, paste it in there and just click continue. And this could take a couple of seconds, it could take minutes if your file's really, really detailed. But this one is pretty detailed because it's taking a bit of time, but yeah. So that should just be finishing. And we'll go ahead and get this up. So next it says move this one into my sim objects one. Now this folder here is one where you're gonna want to put most of your things into. So if I go back to here so you will get this file in you get the aircraft file in all of your things first you want to go onto it and check it's got all of these things on it sometimes on the aircraft on the um, file it may have say all these files will be in another file and you don't want to just copy that and stick it in some objects because that will not work you want to go into this one make sure it's got these in that file and you want to click copy 
go to your C drive again, Grand Files 86, back down to Microsoft Games, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, and then scroll down to Sim Objects, Airplanes, and then just right click, if I can right click and paste it in, and click continue if you do get this. And here we have it going in, and that was pretty quick, so that one's in there like that. Now, the final one was the light effects. So, finally, um, copy all files from the effects folder into your FSX effects folder. So, I've done both of those now. Now, it's just this final one here. So, presumably, uh, light effects is what they're referring to. So, you should go ahead and copy this. Go to your C drive. And scroll down to your games. And go to your effects. And just uh, paste it into the effects folder. Or just paste it in here. I believe you just have to paste it in here. So uh, I'll just go ahead and do that. It's just uh, you, you're not supposed to really have the folders like this. You're supposed to like um, if you want to just copy these files in, then all you want to do is just get another folder up, have it side by side, and paste each one into there like th like so like this. Um, if it doesn't work, then that's what you want to do, but it doesn't matter me if this doesn't work because it's only a quick demo one. Um, and I only really need the aircraft. So, so there we go. That is done. Go ahead, guys, read me. Um, so it's compatible with multiplayer, so you can go ahead and use that on multiplayer. So there we go, we have that all done there. So this is the cockpit. Oh, she's bugging me. And this would be the model. And there we go. Right. So I'm just going to um, minimize that, but you will want to close it. And make sure you don't have FSX open while you're putting these into this file. So I don't really need that. I pulled that up. So I'm going to go ahead and open Microsoft Flight Simulator X. I do also have Steam, and the, the add-ons work fine with both of them in the game. Um, there's no problems between both of the games. They work both perfectly fine. So uh, no need to delete one because the other one is on the thing. It won't um, change anything. All right. There is a lot of scenery that you can get as well, and I'll probably be doing a video on that at some point, whether it's on the airplane channel, which is what I am obviously um, putting this up on now, or on my own channel. But um, I will be doing that at some point. So you want to go ahead and change your aircraft. And here it is. And there we have it. Very, very nice plane. I am definitely going to go fly this tonight. You will maybe see a video of this on my channel or on um, the Aircrew channel. Probably be the Aircrew channel. Um, I've also done a video on my channel of how to install add-ons onto FSX Steam Edition. And I'm not going to bother loading up the game or anything like that because I'm pretty sure this works fine because it is on here like this. And uh, I do recommend you get this add-on. Uh, Simvation is probably the best site you go for for free add-ons if you want to buy payware ones. Um, I haven't actually bought any payware ones yet, but I believe um, Just Flight is a good one. I've, actually, no, I have got some payware ones, but I've only bought liveries. I'll quickly show you that before the end. So I have the 757. Um, who did deliveries and everything like that. Um, they're definitely worth it. But the thing is about that, it cost me two quid for two liveries, and I think it would cost like thirty quid for thirty, I believe. So it's pretty cheap if you buy the whole package thing. Um, so that's going to do it for this video, guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you do have any pro have any problems with installing add-ons, let me know in the comment section, and I'll be happy to help you guys out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.